Welcome to my operations management video on quality awards and certificates. For quality awards, we're going to talk about the Baldridge Award, the European Quality Award, and the Deming Prize. The Malcolm Baldridge National Quality Improvement Act of 1987 was signed into law on August 20, 1987. The award was originally called the Malcolm Baldridge National Quality Award. In 2010, the name was changed to the Baldridge Performance Excellence Program. The award is given annually by the U.S. government to recognize quality achievements in U.S. companies, and you have to be a U.S. company to receive it. It's administered by the National Institute of Standards and Technology. Its purpose is to stimulate efforts to improve quality in American companies. They give up to 18 awards annually across six eligible categories, but they don't have to give out all of the awards. They don't have to give out any of them if they don't think anybody's eligible. The categories are manufacturing, service, small business, education, health care, and nonprofit. There are seven criteria for performance excellence. One, leadership, which counts 125 points, and that's the second largest. Strategic planning, 85 points. Customer and market focus, also 85 points. Information and analysis, 85 points again. Human resource focus, 85 points. Process management, 85 points. Business results, 450 points, the largest by far. There are a number of benefits to the competition. Generally speaking, winners achieve financial success, although that's not always the case. Winners can share their knowledge about the process. The process of going through the competition can motivate employees. It also helps companies collect the data internally that they need to make data-driven decisions and it provides them feedback from the reviewers on their processes. In looking at the Baldridge Award, I found three companies that received the award but were not successful. Wallace Company received the award in 1990. Later that year, they filed for bankruptcy. Armstrong World Industries Incorporated received the award in 1995. They filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in 2000. Two divisions of the Dana Corporation received the award. Their drive shaft division received the award in 2000 and their credit corporation received it in 1996. The parent company, Dana Corporation, filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in 2008. So as you can see, you can receive the award and still do poorly in the marketplace. The European Quality Award was instituted in 1992 by the European Foundation for Quality Management. It's given to European companies that can demonstrate excellence in their management of quality. It is now referred to as the EFQM Excellence Award, and that stands for European Foundation for Quality Management. It is Europe's most prestigious award for quality. It has eight fundamental concepts, and as you will see, these closely mirror Malcolm Baldrige. One, results orientation. Two, customer focus. Three, leadership and consistency of purpose. Four, management by processes and facts. Five, people development and involvement. Six, continuous learning, improvement, and innovation. Seven, partnership development. Eight, corporate social responsibility. They have five categories. One, large organizations and business units. A business unit would be a division of a larger corporation. Two, operations units. Three, public sector. Four, independent SMEs. And that's a small to medium enterprise. That's a company with 250 or fewer employees. Five, a subsidiary SME. The Deming Prize is the longest running TQM award in the world. It was established in 1991 to honor Dr. Edward Deming. It's a highly coveted award in Japan, and, in fact, the awards are covered on Japanese television. This is given by the Japanese Union of Scientists and Engineers. It's a Japanese prize, but it's named after an American. There are two prizes, the Deming Prize for Individuals and the overall Deming Prize. Its main focus is on statistical quality control. You don't have to be a Japanese company to receive it. When I was in the utility industry, Florida Power & Light won the award one year. We're going to talk about two quality certificates, ISO 9000 and ISO 14000. ISO 9000 is a set of international standards on quality management and quality assurance critical to international business. ISO 14000 is a set of international standards for assuring a company's environmental performance. The ISO standards are governed by the International Organization for Standards. The U.S. is a member of this organization, so these are standards that the U.S. had input to. A mistake that a lot of people and textbook makes is that ISO has nothing to do with the name of the organization. ISO was chosen because ISO in Greek means equal, and so ISO wanted to convey this idea of equality. ISO 9000 pertains to quality management. It looks at system requirements, management requirements, resource requirements, realization of results, and remedial requirements. There are eight quality principles of ISO 9000. 
As I list these off, think about how they relate back to Malcolm Baldrige Award and the European Quality Award. One, a customer focus. Two, leadership. Three, involvement of people, primarily employees. Four, a process approach. Five, a systems approach to management. That is looking at the whole organization and not individual pieces. Six, continuous improvement. Seven, use of a factual approach to decision making. Eight, mutually beneficial supplier relationships. There are three broad categories of ISO 14000 standards. One, management systems. Systems development and integration of environmental responsibilities into business planning. Recall, ISO 14000 is about environmental performance. Two, operations. Consumption of natural resources and energy. Three, environmental systems. Measuring, assessing, and managing emissions, effluents, and other waste. These environmental standards are really a big deal in Europe. If you enjoyed this video, please click like and consider subscribing to this channel.